Well, the Xbox Series X launch is looking a lot less appealing. Let's find out why. What's going on everyone? Alex Prime here and uh, yeah, we, we got the big news yesterday. Halo Infinite has officially been delayed to 2021. It is going to miss the launch of the Xbox Series X, which by the way, uh, Microsoft also confirmed will be launching sometime in November, which they always launch a console in November, so that's not a big deal. They didn't tell us which day in November, but sometime in November. But it will no longer be launching with Halo. This is what the Halo team had to say on Twitter yesterday. Today, I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors, Craig, that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting all of us this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 Industries, who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. We know this will be disappointing to many of you and we shall share in that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown us over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We wanted nothing more than for you to play our game with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever and the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for supporting and understanding Chris Lee, studio head from Halo Infinite. So there you go, official word from the head of Halo. It will be missing holiday 2021. Personally, I think this is good, this is fine. Uh, the game needs work. The gameplay looked fantastic, I loved what I saw, but graphically, it, it needs some work a uh, lot of pop in a lot of missing textures with <laughs> craig became a sensation uh <laughs> i hope they put him in the game by the way as an easter egg craig gotta be there man he's gotta be there uh but yeah the game clearly was not ready or not even really close to being ready for its launch uh there were rumors that the build that we saw was weeks old but then later it was confirmed that it was only days old so like that is basically exactly what the game looked like and it's just not what you would expect from a next generation Halo game uh, because it honestly graphically didn't look as good as even Halo 5. Now a lot of that does also come down to art style because they're going more for a classic Halo art style which I do like, I like that more. But they need to fix the pop in, they need to fix the textures, uh, that I guess they just can't get done in time. I don't expect a huge difference otherwise like some people are thinking they're gonna change the entire art style of the game no uh, it's going to continue to look like classic Halo which is fine they just need to touch up the textures and make it look like a next generation game and it will most likely launch with ray tracing now uh, which they said would come in a later patch earlier but now that the game's being delayed I fully expect Halo Infinite to launch with ray tracing so uh, I would look forward to that. Now, for me, again, I'm glad it's getting delayed. I want Halo. Halo cannot just be good. Okay, guys? Halo 5 sucks. It is a crap game. You can't come off of that and then go to another mediocre Halo. Halo Infinite cannot just be good. It cannot just be great. It has to be exceptional. Halo is supposed to be a top tier franchise and 343, let's be real, they've made the worst Halo games. So I want them to put all the effort in to make Halo Infinite to the quality of the older Halo games, which are some of the best games of all time. So do they need more time to do that? That's fine. I don't care. But on the other hand, 
for an Xbox Series X, that's rough. That's unfortunate because now the console is launching without an exclusive title. While you have Sony also launching at the same time, they have Spider-Man Miles Morales, and you had the Switch when that came out, I had Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now you have the most powerful console, 12 teraflops. This is, it is a beast. It is the most, uh, it, it has the best hardware out of all the consoles that are coming out, but you don't have an exclusive title. And Microsoft is touting backwards compatibility as their main reason to buy an Xbox Series X, but that doesn't really make sense because you can do that on the Xbox One X. So they're kind of in a tough position right now. With I, I, I just can't believe they didn't have any other games ready for launch other than Halo potentially being the launch game. But now that that's gone, their launch lineup is basically third party games and backwards compatibility. And I'm going to be honest, I, I don't see the point of buying this thing if you're looking for a new console. You should just get a PS5 since it will have an exclusive game and get all the same multi-plat games. But if you're already in the Xbox ecosystem, like with stuff like Xbox Game Pass, of course that stuff will carry over and a lot of those games will get enhanced. That That is a big, uh, a big advantage of upgrading to Xbox Series X. But is it a big enough reason to go get a new console if you already have an Xbox One S or especially an Xbox One X, which also enhances games? Obviously not to the to the extent that this new one will but that's a big ask for like five maybe six hundred dollar console whatever it costs to play the same games you can already play and nothing like no big new game that that's it's gonna be interesting to see how, how they handle this uh and how the how the community handles the launch of the xbox series x of course during the first couple of days maybe the first week you'll get all the really hardcore guys will buy the console no matter what uh, but then, like, maybe the next month, month after that, I don't expect the Xbox Series X to even be remotely close to the PS5 as far as console sales go. So, hopefully, Microsoft has something in the something in the works for the Series X to come out with. But it looks like it, they're just going to be giving you backwards compatible games. And that's, uh, that's that kind of sucks. That definitely puts a damper on the console launch for the Xbox Series X. But again, let me just reiterate, I'm happy that Halo is getting delayed to make it better. I want Halo to be exceptional. And if the Xbox Series X has to take the hit for that, that's fine by me. All right, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Do you think they should have just launched Halo alongside the Xbox Series X, even though it's not finished? Are you looking to get an Xbox during this holiday season? Or are you looking to get a PS5? Or are you looking to get a Switch? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Alex Prime, and I hope you had a great time. Bye.